Hi everyone, welcome again to my channel Good with P. In this video, we are going to talk about Postman Mock Server. What is Mock Server? Let's try to understand that. So, if you are a front end developer, you must be consuming some of the back end APIs. And if you are a back end developer, then probably you are consuming some of the third party APIs. Or if you are working in a microservices, then probably you are consuming the other microservices. And even if you are QA, to verify your end-to-end -end tests, you need APIs. But most of the time, the development of those API is happening in parallel with your development. Or even if those APIs already exist, but those are not available in your environment. So if you wait for your code to be deployed in the different environment where you can have the integration testing, it will be too late. To ensure your development is happening in a correct way, you need some kind of environment where you can have the functionalities of the API that you are using. For that, mock servers comes into picture. So what is mock server? Mock server just mimics the behavior of the actual APIs, but it will just mock the behavior of the request or response structures. It would not have any business logic or anything but it will just give you some mock responses based on some mock requests. So if you want to ensure that your integration is correct, then you need to have different kind of responses or request variation in your mock server. That would require some kind of coding or maybe some kind of configuration. So that can take a lot of time. If you need simple configuration, then there is a good friend of ours, Postman, which provides a mock server, what it needs is a Postman collection or maybe some request and response samples. So if you have that, you can simply use mock server to give you a required behavior. So in this video, we are going to see that. So let's start. So to start with our demo, let's create one workspace first. So here from the workspace, I can create a new workspace. Let's give it a name demo. So the demo workspace is created. It is always a good practice to create a new workspace with every project. It will ensure that your API is segregated across your workspace and you can easily access the API specific to your projects. Now, from here, we need to create a mock server for our APIs. Most often, when you are working with new project and you are dependent on some APIs, you will either get the API documentations of those APIs or you will get a Postman collection. If you are getting any of those so you can simply import those documentation from here if you have open api then you can click on open api when you will upload this file it will create a collection for you or if you have the existing collections then you can simply click on the upload file and import the collection as soon as you will import any of these documents so it will create a collection for you and this will become part of your collections and you can use it in your mock server there could be a third possibility where you don't have any of these documents but you have only got the sample requests and responses of the different apis that you have to consume we will go with the third scenario wherein we have to create the collection and then use this collection in our mock server so before we create the collection let's look at the mock servers if you click on mock server so it will give you an option to create a mock server click on that while creating a mock server, you will get two options. First one is create a new collection or select an existing collection. If you have already existing collection in place, so you can click on the select an existing collection and it will link your collection with this mock server. But if you don't have any collection, so you can either create a collection from the mock server itself or you can go to your collection and create the collection over there. Now we will create the collection from here create a new collection for your collection you can define different api endpoints uh, let's take an example wherein we need to consume the users api the first api is to get user based on user id and the second api is to create a user let's go with the first api to get a user we have the api path as api slash users and then id and say we have id one two three so we want to get the user based on id one two three so this is a get request and the expected response code is 
200 and here you can define the response body which is a json or xml response that you will get from your api developers right now we will use our own json structure to create a json there is a online util for our json we have the at the top level we have a user and within this user we have different attributes such as first name and here we can define the name for this so as soon as we define the name you can see that we have got a json structure created for us similarly you can add more attribute say last name and this is fun and you can also define the email and also define some more attributes say user id and this is one two three copy this paste this to your response body similarly you can add more request examples here for the same get request or maybe for other requests as well but right now let's stick with only one example let's click on next and it will ask you to provide the name of your mock server so it is user mock now when i click on create mock server so here we have got a mock server created and for this mock server the endpoint is this now you can access the apis on this endpoint in this step we have got a mock server created for us at this endpoint and also we have got two more things the first one is the collection so here we have got a user mock collection created and within that we have one request second thing it also created one environment user mock and with this environment there is one variable added so this variable url refer to the api endpoint for your mock server let's go to the collection and here you see we have this api and if i try to send a request so right now it is failing and it is failing because address not found and we are trying to hit our api on this url okay but this url is unresolved so this is the environment variable that is what we are trying to access so if we copy this mock url endpoint and hit the request based on this url so it returns us the response and this response is the default response that we defined with our mock server and while defining that it also added one default example here we are able to get the same response in the request when we call this api with user id 123 this is one of the example of the successful response similarly we will create few more examples and then we will see how we will get different responses based on different requests here instead of this url we can use the environment variable for that you need to select the user mock environment so as soon as you will select this user mock environment so it will give you the same response similarly you can create multiple examples here from this api you can add the examples and similarly if you have this example and you want to duplicate it you can create a new example so user not found for this scenario we want to send the request with 124 id and you can change the response message and response status so here we do not want any response and the status code would be 204 no content and save this so we have defined this user not found url and for that the response is 204 no content if we call this api with the id 124 then it will give us 204 no content and if i change back to 123 so we will get the response that we have defined for id 123 so here what is happening is whenever we are hitting this request postman mock server will return the response based on the examples that will match with the request so here in this case the matching is happening based on the url so we have match of user id 123 with the successful response and match of id 124 with user not found if we try to change this thing to let's say 126 so in this case again it is returning us 204 no content so here in this example we don't have any match with the url id 126 the postman mock server tries to find out the closest match and in this case both of these urls looks like the closest match so it returned one of them now let's look at the scenario wherein these apis are secured with the authentication headers let's create another example on request 
in this case we want to return the 401 unauthorized error and save it if i call this api with 125 so we are going to get 401 unauthorized in all of these scenarios if you will notice the responses are dependent on the api endpoint that we have defined for the 401 unauthorized error we need to ensure that whenever we are calling any api without the header so it should fail by default the postman mock server does not take care of the header so suppose when we are calling this api with the basic auth username and password and if i send this if you will look at request that we are sending to server so this is the authorization header that we want we want to ensure if in our api calls we are sending this header it should be successful otherwise it should throw the 401 error okay so let's add this header to our api request so with this successful response i am adding the authorization header as this save this similarly user not found we also want to do the same thing these are our two scenarios where we are passing the authorization header so when we call this api with id123 and we pass the invalid header so it should throw the 401 error but when we click on this it is still gives us 200 okay why this is happening because the postman mock server does not take care of the headers or the request body by default so we need to pass a specific header in our request to ensure that our header is being considered so for that let's add one header here so the header here is the x mock match request headers with this header we can pass the header name in this case we want to pass the authorization whenever we are sending this request now postman mock server will also try to match the header so in this case it will match the authorization header and its value so if i send this request and we have passed this basic auth with username and password and id is 123 so it is failing and it says that there is no matching request with this kind of setup so if i pass the correct password here password and click on the send so it will return us the correct response similarly for the user not found if i call this with 124 and call this it will give us the expected response and if i change this to 125 for unauthorized request and send this so now it is giving us the response so this time there are two match one match is based on the authorization header it tries to match the example which has the same header and also it will try to match the url with the closest match so here the containers are the successful response and you are not found because in unauthorized request we have this authorization as this if we pass here only user but not the password so probably we have defined the incorrect header so let's copy this thing and with the unauthorized request we are passing this and save this call this api so when we did not pass any password it matched with the unauthorized request so we have got 401 unauthorized if i add a correct password so now it will match with the other request that we have created so you will get the successful response now we will look at the scenario wherein we will get the different responses based on different request body so for that let's add one more example api which is create user this is the base url and then we have users and we will create this as the post api and in this api we need some request body so again let's go back here and here instead of user id we will use this example copy this we want to create json response and this is our response send it and it will fail of course because we don't have any api example which adheres to this url so we can add the examples here json and this is our body so this is one example wherein we will see the successful response when we create a user based on this request we will get the user creation response and the response is 201 created 
let's add the body in this case we will add the user id as our response and the response is 123 this is the id that will be created when we will call this api okay so let's save this when i call this users api with this body let's see what happens so it will return the 201 created response let's create one more example here and this example is say invalid request so our scenario is when we are passing this email as invalid value so let's remove this thread so email has to follow certain regex expression and in this case if we are passing email like this it should fail and the failure is 400 bad request and our response is say we have error code and the and we have message when we are calling this api with the invalid email then we should get this response and if we call this api and while calling this api we are passing incorrect email then what happens so it is returning us the invalid email but if we call this api with a valid email then again it is returning the same response while calling this api for both of these api the response is same the difference between both of these examples is the request body but postman mock server is only matching the response based on the api endpoint it is not considering the body for that we need to add one more header in our API endpoint, and that header is X mock match request body. So, here if I pass this header and I update this value to true and call the API, this time it has written us the user ID 123 for the request wherein we have the correct body. Now, if I change this body, So it will return with the invalid email. So to ensure that your Postman mock server is returning you the response based on your headers or based on your request body, you need to apply the headers such as X mock match request body for the request body. And similarly for the headers, you need to pass the X mock match request headers. Now let's add one more scenario here. If email already exists in the system, then your server is responding with 500 error message. The user already exists. So let's create that example. If we are trying to create the user with email, press one at the gmail.com. So we need to respond with 500 business error and code is 200 and your already exists. We are calling this press one at the gmail.com. So it will return user already exists with 500 internal server error and if we just change it back to the press then we will get the invalid email and with the success response you will get the 201 created and the response would be user id 123 so in this video we have seen how to create a postman collection and link it with the mock server if you enjoyed watching this video please like subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest update on my new videos. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.